Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 multiplayer action. We're here with the Warriors of Chaos, and would you look at that uh, nasty Chaos Dragon. Trying this out once more, and we've gone very risky this time up against Bretonia, Chaos Sorcerer Lord, Lore of Fire. We've got uh, Fireball, Cascading Fire Cloak, and Burning Head. Two exalted heroes on Manticores. They've got both Mark of Corn. Basically gives them Frenzy, and the Hellfire Sword gives them limited fire damage. Got two units of trolls for some anti-cav slash anti-infantry. Summoners of Rage for elite magic, anti-large armor piercing. And we've got some Rod of Horsemen as well, who are currently about to get charged. Ooh, it looks like uh, my opponent Gobble Slayer here, these Royal Pegasus Knights, actually had a charge order on those Marauder Horsemen. Um, but now he's deciding to actually try and nuke the trolls here. A little bit risky as I'm going to be able to blob in with my Marauder Horsemen to keep these Pegasi on the ground. And also come in with the Summoners of Rage. Granted, if the Summoners of Rage get soloed out here, it could be bad. But uh, definitely pretty risky to take this force up in the air. Meanwhile, the rest of Bretonians out on the far field. We've got Foot Squires, uh, Spearmen at Arms, some Peasant Mobs up front. Uh, pretty regular stuff. But you can see here the Hellfire Sword, Cascading Fire Cloak. Keep in mind as well, when I cast that Cascading Fire Cloak, it gave that Kindle Flame boost. So you can see picked off, uh, what is that, four models from that unit of Pegasus Knights. So pretty good stuff there. The trolls do get routed, as do the Marauder Horsemen. But likewise, these Pegasus Knights did take some pretty good damage from the Summoners of Rage. I'm going to try and pull back a little bit, though. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, since the Summoners of Rage decide to, well, I, I'd commit them here since uh, Gobble Slayer decides to commit his forces. And I'm going to just come in, try and get rear charges as much as I can with these... Uh, with these various units and fireball swing and a miss there but it does trigger a kindle flame and the chaos dragon's breath does actually do fire damage so we got a little bit of extra damage there i wasn't close enough to really connect very effectively with it you can see the summoners of rage just beat down with the manticore to beat down these pegasus knights super hard um they really you know they don't need to stand in, the, in, a, in a pitched engagement like that likewise lewin takes a ton of damage here too so what initially seemed to be a very risky, uh, you know, kind of aerial engagement for me, I was able to kind of win back. Granted, we took a ton of damage on those Summoners of Rage, and obviously the Trolls, you know, they dropped a couple models, but they have regenerated. We've lost out on some Marauder Horsemen as well, so in terms of army cost, it's probably about even. And you can see uh, as Lewin regenerates, this balance of power is going to come back towards even. Um, but we do still have both the Exalted Heroes relatively healthy and the Sorcerer Lord floor of fire so you can see Lewin's going to take one more engagement here try and terrify away these horsemen quickly um, but his caster is over here as well and she is all of a sudden <laughs> exposed all the peasants just kind of chilling back letting this happen here and I sort of get it you know um, if he can try and win these engagements and like lord snipe me then I'm going to have to advance into these hot gates and it'll be really bad but uh, losing this caster is potentially going to be pretty rough here you can see, though, he does get a pretty good isolation here on this Exalted Hero. He's got the Hellfire Sword active, but Lewin's going to come in and just deliver some justice. I do pop that Cascading Fire Cloak for extra melee defense, and, of course, it's like the Hellfire Sword actually just barely wore off, which is a little bit unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, that Manticore is getting absolutely pounded right now, and despite the fact the Pegasus Knights are so low, Lewin as well. Um, looks like Beloved Son of Bretonia not brought here, so Lewin being below half health doesn't really benefit them at all, but... His other Pegasus Knight's going to come in, try and keep these Marauder Horsemen from providing missile support. And you can see he is able to nuke this Exalted Hero, even with just two very tattered units of Pegasus Knights, plus Lewin. So, um, yeah, even, even just this small Air Force is still scary, and you can see how that's equalized the balance of power once more. So, I'm going to sling some Fireballs, even if we just pick off a model or two. That's worthwhile in the long run, uh, to try and, you know, just pick away at their stopping power a little bit, but... Now I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and advance the army here, get the actual engagement underway. We've been having this kind of aerial skirmish battle for quite some time. He is able to catch out my other exalted hero here, Cascading Fire Cloak, and I try and use an air-to-air -air breath attack, which is, to be honest, never a good idea. <laughs> uh, just swing it a miss completely there. But Cascading Fire Cloak, at the very least, is going to be able to help buff me up a little bit. I kind of form up together try and use them both but oh man this exalted hero is just getting pounded because of that sort of crone his melee defense is so low he gets pretty much taken out here i believe 100 percent yep curse the midnight wind as well debuffing both the stats so all of a sudden this chaos lord seems like he might be in a little bit of trouble 
And yeah, that Manticore, man, he just got dropped. Yeah, he just got straight up dropped right there. So, uh, rough stuff. This aerial engagement, though, once the once the debuffs wear off, I will be able to kind of start to bring things back a little bit here. And just because Luin's so low, he doesn't he really doesn't want to risk me getting a few lucky hits with that Cascading Fire Cloak active. Um, gonna go ahead and throw another Fireball out there. Pick another model off. And the peasants are now awaiting their fate. You can see the damsel did make her way back over over to the lines here. Um, yeah, Lore of Heaven's interesting. I do understand, you know, the, the Curse of the Midnight Wind debuff and uh, what does she have as well? Wind Blast? Probably to help deal with infantry. So, definitely good stuff. With these expensive flying units, you typically tend to see Lore of Life, but uh, with Heavens, you could go Harmonic Convergence and Curse of the Midnight Wind and get some value as well. Um, if you didn't want to necessarily take healing, but here comes the moment we've all been waiting for the troll charge as the trolls get in here Absolutely pound these foot squires. We're also gonna throw a burning head down the line here to roast out some of the peasants It unfortunately takes a bit of a turn doesn't quite roast out those peasants how I wanted and the chain lightning as well in the back line from the summoners of rage was a complete swing and a miss so that's fine uh, it looks like it came over here and did some damage to these peasants over on the far side also burnt out some of my marauders, but that's fine we're going to drop a Cascading Fire Cloak, and again, because of that Kindle Flame, just this direct down breath on damage. Look at, uh, yeah, direct down breath on Luin. Look at how much damage that does. Absolutely insane because of the Kindle Flame there. And then I'm just going to drop and be able to finish him off very, very quickly here. One or two hits, and he's down. So, with the death of the King, the Bretonian force is obviously going to be pretty behind the curve here. The the Pegasus Knights, which had been making a very valiant, valiant stand up until now, all of a sudden going to get pinned in by trolls and this dragon here in a very, very bad situation. Rotter Horsemen also coming through. You can see the peasants are getting uh, butchered for the most part. Some of them are holding the line. The Beast Slayer's Bastone able to win somewhat against these Marauders here, but just not looking great. You can see the Spearmen and uh, yeah, the Spearmen at Arms here are able to hold up the trolls and the Summoners of Rage out here on the far flank, but obviously with the loss of those powerful air units, the caster as well just getting gooned by the dragon, that's going to very quickly lead to army losses. So, uh, fun battle with Goblet Slayer, kind of nice back and forth there in the air. Uh, he was able to snipe out both of my manticores, which shows, you know, just how risky a build like this actually is to take. Um, obviously, me getting him with the Marauder Horseman the beginning of the game uh, to kind of charge in and get a few of his models stuck on the ground there. Then he did decide to kind of commit into trying to take out the trolls, which I do think was a bit of a mistake. Definitely just should have tried to disengage at that point and just force force me into an air engagement, try and not, not involve the ground troops at all, because that's going to bring me a significant advantage, right? Because I've got these summoners of rage on the ground. I've got these trolls that can come in and do armor piercing support uh, against the knights and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, even just with a few Pegasus Knights and that Sword of Crone active, they were able to take out both Exalted Heroes quite quickly. Sorcerer Lord of Fire, though, up on the Dragon, I don't know how common you guys see this, but uh, I think it's a pretty good combination, the fact that you get so much synergy there. The Hellfire Sword, I don't know if it's really worth it. Because it has a melee conditional recharge, you're probably not going to get more than one, maybe two at max. Um, I don't know if that's really worth it to bring for the extra fire damage. It may be. You do get the right situation, um, and maybe against the unit that's baseline weak to fire anyway. The Mark of Corn, though, I would definitely take. Uh, that's totally worth it for a relatively cheap upgrade. You get extra charge bonus, melee attack, and weapon damage, which is all really nice. Uh, makes this guy a very powerful uh, Manticore. Uh, significantly more expensive than your old Pharaoh Manticore, but of course he doesn't have Enrage as well. He also has Encourage, and yeah, that Mark of Corn is a pretty nice little item to take on him. Sorcerer Lord on the dragon. Again, Chaos Dragons do fire damage, so the Fire Sorcerer synergizes very well there. He's similar to Archeon. He's kind of like a flying Archeon who's not quite as good in melee, but he is a better caster in that he has Arcane Conduit. Um, you know, you can also take the Sword of Antiheroes if you want to try and use use him as a combatant. Self-buffing with the Cascading Fire Cloak, of course, if, you're, if you stack it with... Uh, this uh, this sort of anti-heroes, then of course you get quite a bit of extra armor piercing damage and extra melee defense to help you stand up, take advantage of that charge bonus. Just, you don't have that much melee attack. 46 is really not amazing for a character, but the extra melee defense you get from the evasion helps, of course, as well. And yeah, just pretty decent overall. This blasted standard, I don't know that I would take this. 
12 Missile Parry isn't really a whole lot. Ah, uh, 54 gold. It, probably not. He's already pretty expensive. But regardless, I definitely uh, urge you guys to give it a try. Give, give this uh, Sorcerer Lord on the on the Chaos Dragon a, a try. Get that Fire Synergy. You can synergize with other units as well, of course, to have innate Fire Damage without bringing Cascading Fire Cloak. Or, sorry, uh, Flaming Sword of Ruin. You can bring Flaming Sword of Ruin if you want. But I, t I tend to uh, go with the other spells from that lore. So, I mean, I guess you could bring, like, Swords of Chaos. Uh, let's see, are they really the only ones with fire damage innately? It seems like more should have it, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. If you do like this sort of content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button, so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.